Hello, what? Ah, oh, fuck. Restart. No, I'm just kidding. Hello, welcome. Now we're playing some World of Warcraft. Uh, this is um, vanilla. I, I don't want to call it classic because it's actually not. Classic means like the new version, right? This is like a weirdo hybrid thing. This is vanilla WoW using the old retail oh, Wrath of the Lich King client, but it has add-ons which add in features like um, looking for group finder and dual spec and like other stuff like that. They have basically added a bunch of features. It's almost like a, their own version of classic in a way. But basically it's vanilla. There's no Burning Crusade yet. It will drop. This is a, called a progressive realm where they will progress into Burning Crusade and then eventually into Wrath of the Lich King. But we are still currently on vanilla mode. We need to give this uh, this version uh, like a code name. It's going to be code name Wowie Wowie. Playing Wowie Wowie. <laughs> well, so <laughs> I think they call it Era. They call it Wow Era. But even that is not correct because there's a thing called WoW Classic Era, but then that means like new version. So this is like old retail. I don't know how, how what you'd call it. I, I was calling it in the videos OG, vanilla OG or WoW OG. I see. Whatever. Yeah, so we got to Orgrimmar here the other day. Um, there's a few things we need to do. Um, I traded with Sirius and I gave him a bunch of stuff like bags and such. Um, potions. Let's go back here this way. I have a bunch of uh, bag slots now, and you give me a bunch of higher level armors and everything. Now yeah. I'm fully cheated forward. Yeah. Oh, and the, Just the main thing. Strong forward bunch of level of accessories worth. Um, one of the main things I gave you was a level 20 blue pole arm. <laughs> Damn. Which Which is, I, put all, I put everything in the bank. So on this server, for some reason, all the blue items are actually not worth that much. They're only worth like one to five goldish or something. At least the low level ones. Um, which is good because, you know what I think it is, man? It's that um, once you're high level, like level 80 and stuff, once they have those expansions and they increase the, the level range, you get money so fast and so easily that it's always like... You have your sugar daddy main character, and you're playing your little low-level alternate characters called alts. Um, so then it's like the prices of these low-level items become exaggeratedly high because it's like you're not paying for it as a level two, and you're paying for it as like a sugar daddy's paying. Yeah, and it's made even worse by the fact that they added the ability to buy gold directly into the game officially, legitimately. Because like when it used to be illegal. You know, you'd have to use the, the legal website to get it. Um, only like 10% of the people did that. Now, everybody fucking does it. It's like $20 for like 10,000 gold. It's ridiculous. Just have people just level forward and just have everything right away. And then it, it makes it so like people start pricing items in dollars. So like uh, a super uh, nice blue item, even for a level 10 or level 20, they're like, yeah, I'd pay $2 for that. You know, so that's like several hundred gold. Or like, you know, like two dollars is like. Uh, yeah, it makes it so the people who are legit playing the game. That's really hard. To, really hard to just actually attain two hundred gold. Well, it's a thousand. Two, two, it. two dollars is like a thousand. That's the problem. So then yeah. it's like th these items are listed for like, like one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, because it's like two dollars, four dollars, six dollars. You know, All right? So here we are. You've corrupted the game. I think so. So I like playing on here already just because of the fact that we're in like silver mode. Like we're in like getting even one gold is difficult for us. But it also oh, makes yeah. it so these low level items actually only cost like two or three gold. Very nice. So you have blacksmithing. Did you get that yet? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Talk to this guy. Wow, oh. I almost misread this guy's name is Krathok Motherfuck, but his name is Krathok <laughs> Molten Fist. Wow, that's a, quite a difference ah, there. Oh, expert. right, you you got blacksmithing from um, the Thunder Bluff. Yeah. And I can't buy anything new here. Alright, so forget him. Let's go into here. This is the weapon master in Orgrimmar. He's two on the right here. 
So we'll talk to them and they're trying to get the pole arm mastery basically. How you This is a defender. Yeah, these two right here, the Sayak and Hanash. I can get bows and see in yeah. You can get daggers, bows, fist weapons, and throne. If I want to get all this, no, because it's ten silver each. And you're oh, a bum. Shit. You got like twenty silver, don't you? Twenty-five. Yeah. So which one do I need to get out of these? I would just say bow. Okay. Yeah. But so the other thing we need to do is we need to talk to him and then choose the other option. Just tell me what the other people can teach me. And it's uh. The pole arm is in Undercity. Archibald, the undead weapon master. So we're gonna have to visit there at some point. We won't do that now because the the pole arm is level twenty, so you can't even use it. But yeah, one, I want to know. And uh, then we can actually check out Undercity and where my my character came from at some point, probably next video or so. All right. And also, I just wanted to show you the blacksmithing area. The you, to do any blacksmithing at all, because you need an anvil, this shit, or you need a forge, this shit here, you have to run all the way to the back of this fucking city. Just like in- Just like in, that, just like that in Stormwind, you have to run off to this way fucking side area for that shit. Yeah, they, I don't know why they hate blacksmiths, that they're like, get shoved in the back. Um, uh, get these fucking peasant weapon makers out of here. It's so loud, I think. Without which the, idea. the army cannot win. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so... They're worthless. Um... Two also, inches in half! So then your warrior trainer also isn't here. Did you get your level 10 skills? I think you did. I think I... I don't know. Let's see. Up here. So this building is also the PvP building. Um... You, you can actually start doing PvP at level 10, so we could do it, but... Uh, they put you into brackets, so you'd be level 10 to 19, so... We would get Brackets absolutely bad. destroyed. By the twinks. <laughs> the twinks. <laughs> um, here's the warrior trainer. Yeah, I got everything. Everything that I could get, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's just look at the battle masters for the things real quick. So if you talk to this one here, Alterac Valley Battle Master. Greetings. We have need of your services in Alterac Valley. Shall I add you to the lists? I wish they would have contextual awareness of the fact that you're too low level, but it basically there's nothing to click, which means you're too low level. I see. But they should say different text to you for fuck's sake, don't you think? But so talk to this one, yeah. Warsong Gulch. Sub -sub. And that one says, I want to join the battleground. Can I do it? Uh, no. <laughs> Another video. Go All right. Honor. But basically... Uh, you would get queued up, and then you get sent into an instance battle, like 10 versus 10. And Warsong Gulch is like the very first one you can do. It's just capture the flag. 10 versus 10, capture the flag. Um, and there's like two sides of the arena, which each have a base, where the flag is, obviously, you know. And you have to go in there, get the flag, run it back to your base, and touch to your flag post or whatever, and if... Um, if it's if your current flag is captured or someone has it, then you can't turn it in. And then people decide to play offense and defense. You know, they can defend the flag. They can try and capture the flag. Some characters like are really good at capturing the flag and running with it because they're faster than other characters. Stuff like that. This guy's insane. Um, whatever this axe is, it looks like a ninja star axe. You see in this thing from the side. Oh yeah, that's oh, the. Oh, uh, your warrior will get that as a warrior quest. Or something similar to that. Um, at level 40, I think, or level 20, I don't remember, but it's called the Whirlwind Axe. He's got a different version. He's got some sort of a red version of it. Um, let me look. Crazy looking. I like it. Can't inspect him, damn it. You know how the Borderlands has like crazy weapons and stuff? Like uh, guns that are alive and walk and do weird shit? You should have a, an axe like this, where, you know, the actual blade part spins. <laughs> <That'd> be sick. <laughs> your character oh, you know, later, like you get a skill called the Whirlwind, where you spin around. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I can spin myself. I think uh, I don't remember. There's another one you get where you spin for like a long duration. I think that's called the five minute cooldown. 
Anyways, let's go to the level. So we're headed to the Barrens for the first time, so we've reached level 10. I believe right. that's the level that you need to be to go to the Barrens. How do I use the shoot skill? So I gotta select an enemy in the distance and then, then do shoot? Yep. That's it. And yeah. Blood Rage, I could just uh, ma uh, manifest 20 or 10 Rage at any time I want. Yep. I think it says 10, oh, and then it says 10 more over time or something. Oh, okay, yep. And it actually goes to uh, to 20. Nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. But it uses like 7% of your health, but that's yeah. not very much, so. That's cool, though. Like, it's nothing before you in it before you enter a battle you could use that your health just flies back up because you're not in battle yet and then now you're full of rage you're starting the battle with rage i think uh i think your health does not go up though when you're in battle i'm not sure if it counts it as like i don't know, I don't know you're sure. saying they thought of that they thought of that i think so i think that while that 10 seconds when it's going up you're considered to be like in battle or something and then it won't your oh, won't go up so then you'd have to wait till it wears off and then by then your rage is going down and so yeah you're basically going into battle with your health down a little bit but it's not that much so yeah like one hit on you or something all right let's get the fuck out of here let's go to lifts um and then also by the way your charge gives you rage oh i see so you could do Blood Rage and then Charge. The Charge is basically says something like Stun the enemy for one second, which is also good because you can just start the battle off with them not being able to hit you and stuff. The only thing that sucks about Charge is you can't use it while you're in combat. Yeah. But later you get another. It, you gotta start it away from it. You start. You get another skill later called uh, intercept, which is like a in battle version of charge. Very good. All right here we are. Let's. Um, we're going into the barons. We're going to stop by the um, troll and orc start zones just to look at them. They're up on the way, kind of. Oh yeah, so to the left, you see the Zeppelins over there? Yep. One of those goes to Undercity, which is like where I'm from. We'll check that out another time. Fucking beast, whoa. Should I shoot this idiot? Yeah, you wanna try it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So the only thing that sucks about that is then you can't do a charge then. You right, yeah, because he's, uh, he's been, like, discovered. But then, still, the reason you shoot is because you're trying to pull an uh, enemy out of a group without... Because you have, like, a radius which enemies will notice you at, so sometimes, well, often, they'll have them sitting in, like, a little camp or something. Three of them sitting or standing around, you know? So if you try and approach one of them, to get him into combat with you, the, your radius will like overlap the other others as well. Yeah. And you'll get in a fight with all three of them. You can actually shoot one idiot and pull him out, and the other ones won't get won't know what's happening. Yeah, because um, when you get when an enemy gets shot, they also have an aggro radius, which is like alerts their little buddies nearby. Um, but your aggro radius is, I think, a lot larger. So like. It depends. If they're standing close to each other and you shoot them, then they'll still notice it. But if they're standing far enough apart, anyways, you'll see. You'll see there's a... you can usually discern when they are standing too close to each other and when they're not and stuff, and when you can pull them out and when you can't and stuff. But um, my character has spells. Most characters have a spell that you could use to pull enemies out of a group, and then I, the warrior... I has to be told at work. I have to be told it work when I can pull it out and when I can't pull it out. And I think they said pretty much you can never pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's a> ask. 
Uh, when can I pull it out? They're like, um, what are you talking um, about, sir? <laughs> you could never do that. Well, uh, I guess I've been making some mistakes at work. <laughs> Look at this guy. There's he's a, a lot of players on the server, eh? Look, here's a warrior. He's got a shield. You're what I want to be. I look up to you. Hero! Come back, <laughs> role model. <laughs> doesn't even look at me. I'm such a disgraced loser compared to him. Just doesn't even look back. He's on a mission. I should write to him in the text chat. I should be like, I want to be like you. I want to be you. <laughs> we like Jesus Christ. I don't understand. I'm a first-time WoW player. I'm actually amazed. As, as only the first time playing any game will you ever actually be amazed by anything. Whenever you're replaying stuff, you've already seen it. Hard to be. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is a town called Razor Hill. It's kind of like Bloodhoof Village equivalent. It's the first. Oh, like I this, see. Yeah, first kind of town that's starting down or whatever, or second town essentially. Why is it called Razor Hill? I think there's a hill that it's dug into. I don't know. Do we do anything here? I think Razor Hill is up behind us here. Oh, uh, I see. Maybe, no, the town itself is called Razor Hill, I guess. Alright, so then to the left here. We have quests here, but I think I don't, I don't think we want them. Pick up a bunch of quests here if I want. That's what I mean, yeah, but I don't know if we want them. Alright, so then. To the right would have been where you go, where we actually want to go, but we're going to go this way. This is where you start with the orc and the troll. So normally you'd start over here and then you'd come to the Razor Hill. And then you'd go north to Orgrimmar or you go west to the Barrens. The Barrens is like the level 10 to 20 zone. It's like the Westfall equivalent. We have left Durotard. Durotard. <laughs> <laughs> Kill these stupid scorpions. Right. Stun him. Heroic strike him. He did. Oh, nice. He's only a level 5. What a loser. <laughs> yeah, see, that's where they're like lower, like. Near uh, Argomar, they're like level 8 and 9, 10. Right, because this is a starting zone, yeah, so yep, it's so gonna be we'll, easier. We're going backwards, yep. It's this castle to the left. That is a one of the quests from Razor Hill, which make you go into there. Oh, okay. It's filled with little baddie, naughty knights. <laughs> you wanna look in there? Let's check it out. I think they're Let's like level. absolute idiots. Yeah. They're like paladins and shit. Actually, wait a we minute. We have no. turned into the Knights of Knee! Wait a minute, they the are like sailor, sailors. These losers are low level. It's like a broken down castle that they've taken over, I think. Oh they my call God. ourselves the Nutty Knights, Nutty Sailors of the Nutty Castle. Hold on, a I for, uh, left my telegram. On. Left my telegram on, so I was getting a phone call. Oh, oh, I closed it. This is it. This is the idiots within this castle, or is there more? <laughs> Let we go deeper. Look, here's a player. Level 8. They're probably like, what are these high level 10 level... Like, what are these doing here? We're doing, I'm doing my little quest here. I'm doing my 15th character in a row that I'm working on. Because I will yeah. never stop playing WoW and I will 
not until I've done a hundred <sighs> characters I, uh, to level eighty. I fuck. Well, I've never reached them all to level eighty, but I've definitely started a hundred characters. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> At so least fifty. Me, no, probably like to, eighty. Explain to the audience. Explain to the audience your obsession with WoW and why you can never stop play, playing it over and over. I don't know. I like the it's low a game that can never be finished. Look over here to the left. Actually, you can go in there. Yeah. No, that's... Who's who just? Can yelled never at me? be finished. Who just yelled? Not me. Play another player up here. Everything's <laughs> murdered up here recently. Yeah, because uh, oh, what's this? Oh. Requires a bit, a bit Requires Benedict's key. He's like down. Let's go check him out. Actually, he's back down here. Don't jump. Yeah, actually, let's look out Does over here. Does that kill me? Uh, no. It's probably not far enough to die. You wanna jump? You can jump. Yeah, let's do it. Let's land on this, uh, can you land on this, uh, ledge? You no. could, but it's too far. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Um... Anyways, fuck this castle. Pretty cool, I guess. Cool how this awesome idea is attacking me. Nice. Warrior's tunic. Is that better than yours? Probably. I'll click, you click knee, I'll click greed. Let's look. Is, is that better than your chest? Yeah, actually, holy shit, it's uh, 115 versus I'm wearing a 63. Oh, and it also has Crazy. two strength. Two plus two, two strength. strength. Wow. Yeah. Usually they're... Incredible find. Then, yeah. On a level <laughs> five idiot. Um, it's funny whenever you kill just like one or two dudes and then you get a good item. Like that pole arm you, you got was because I went to like, there's an herb and there's like one little scorpion in the way that I had to kill to get to the herb. And then he just dropped that and I was like, holy shit. And then like, I wasn't even killing things, I was just farming herbs, you know? Yep. It's not and random. I'm kind of glad we ran into this castle because I just randomly got a good armor. Yep. Um, and also the names of the items, usually you could tell, like, who it's for, like, the fact that it said Warrior's Tunic. I could already tell that it was, like, probably plus strength kind of stats, you know? Like, usually they'll have names, like, of the blah, of the blah blah blah, like, they'll say, like, um, well, uh, Tunic of the Wolf, Tunic of the Bear, stuff like that, you know? So the Bear is always Strength and Stamina. Um, warrior is always just strength, no stamina. Um, which means usually the strength is higher, because it's not being, the stats total not being split between strength and stamina. And to avoid these low-level idiots because they just, uh, waste time. They you can also just, experience. when they hit you, you can also just keep running and you'll eventually outrun them. Just ignore them. If they don't exist. So these, uh... The yellow ones won't attack us because they're neutral or whatever, you know? But the scorpion here will attack you. Um, also, um, your aggro radius is based off of the relative level. So, if you're like level 30 and you're running through this level 5 zone, you can walk like one foot next to them and they won't even attack you. Oh, I see. Where's my quest over here? No, we're doing a side detour. This is the starting zone of the orcs we're about to walk into. This is like, you see how there's these gates, just like in Stormwind? There's like a little... Like, do you remember Stormwind? Right. Had it, it safety almost, zone, little safety zone wall. It had like almost the exact same looking thing, and there's like guards in there, there's like this little... Uh, double layer shit going on, yeah. This I have not seen before. This is it, new to me. I mean, it looks the same as a all of Durotar, which is like red rock shit. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much it. A little shithole, the tiny little valley. Little this is their equivalent of Goldshire. Well, no, even before that, it's North Northshire. Your little remember the church area. Oh, right, this is the church thing, yep. So Goldshire is like Razor Hill. I see, yeah, I see. This is... 
starting church of the Poopin Hole. That's the name of it. Yep. Come to Poopin Hole. Pretty much it's just a little shithole, and then over here, uh, don't even go in the cave. Here you are birthed out like a <laughs> turd from a butt into the, the world I as an orc. We can go in here, I guess. I never even go in here whenever I start because it's like, what do they even have in here? Rogue trainer? Since we're in the orc zone and we're in the caves and shit, underground, it make, it, it reminds me of that Lord of the Rings, you know, from the second movie. It's like, <laughs> Saruman summoning the orcs. Oh. <laughs> uh, I see. Here's where, like, their weapon vendors are and shit. I don't know. Summons them from under the ground, remember? They're born under these caves under the ground and shit in sacks. That's how they're grown, apparently. Oh, fuck, like, dirt, like dirt worms. I don't remember any of that. Holy well, shit, it's in the second movie. It's, uh, it kind of shows that the orcs are actually born and created and stuff. Which, by the way, this game came out like right in the right after or in the middle of the Lord of the Rings fucking craze that was happening in the early 2000s. So I'm sure there's quite a lot inspired by those movies that are like put into this game, you know? Yeah. All right, that's it. We don't even need to check out the valley. You just want to look. So see, there's little piggies. They're like level one. Those are like, you know, the wolves in Northshire. It's the same shit. There's a cave right at the back. Just like, oh, there's a cave at the back of Northshire. Pretty uh -huh. much the same fucking... <laughs> like, like how they actually kind of replicate the concept. The areas look different, but they replicate the similar gameplay yeah. concepts. Look, there's these sleeping orcs over here. Lazy peons. Which is one of my favorite quest for some reason, but you have to run around with a club and you hit them over the head and then they fucking go, oh shit, and then they wake up and they get back to work. <laughs> nice. Um, now I don't remember if the trolls start in here. I think they do. I think they start in here. I don't think they have their own, like, so the trolls and the orcs share a starting zone, just like the gnomes and the dwarves share a starting zone. So they only made three starting zones instead of four for some reason. I don't know if they ran out of budget, they're lazy, or I don't know what the fuck. You know? Yeah, that is weird. But then there's a uh, troll village, which I, I don't know if that's like... Just for trolls, but look. Like, I think orcs go to this village as well. Uh, a troll village? A troll? Remember, I don't know if you remember Boxy. What? On the internet from like 2009. Oh shit, what is that? Like, troll! Troll! My name is Boxy, and you're a troll! What the fuck? You gotta look up Boxy. It was like a 4chan meme, one of the first ones, actually. Holy shit. Well, she would she didn't make it for 4chan but 4chan saw it and then they like adopted her as like the queen of 4chan she didn't want oh, to be just a random girl you remember this random girl forum, making videos you remember this place called something awful yeah I got, that's what i remember back then not, not 4chan i remember and they something compete with uh they compete with 4chan for being like the edgy sick place of the internet of that time i think 4chan came later or something i don't remember yeah but they were uh, the original something awful was this, more this looks cool. more legit or something i mean as like uh, 4chan was always like treated like a fucking recluse hole you know what i mean <laughs> uh -huh. this place looks pretty cool i like this shit yep oasis town is this called oasis town or what is this place senjin village aka oasis town yes look and then over here I'm not gonna do these quests, but if you run to the beach, so we're actually reaching like the coast of so this palm trees and shit. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, and like over there, if you can swim there, and that's like one of the low-level quests you're doing with the orcs and the trolls is swimming across there, and there's like tigers and but shit this over is there. Called, this is called Dark Streak Strand, which is of course this this is a that's the German or European word for beach is strand strand strand. Uh. I think that in even in English they can say strand, yo. <laughs> really? I thought yes. it was only called beach. No, I it's ain't a never strand. heard of strand for beach, but that's cool. 
This is a German Strand. Strand. <laughs> we are now at the German beach called the Strand. Yes. Well, yeah. Or like um, <laughs> a, a, you know, in German, a Berg is a mountain, but a Burg is a city. See. So like like Luxembourg or whatever is like Luxon City or whatever. I don't know. So, Borgberg is mountain city. <laughs> yes. yes. Bergburg. Or, or Stadt is also, I think, city. One of those is like a deep city. I don't know. Anyways, you're not gonna swim across here, but. Dot some... Strand. Dot Strand. This Hello there. A player here. It's a troll. What do they want? Gakko. Targeting me. Oh, he wants my. Here you go. <laughs> He wants that shit. You're ugly beast, we're gonna run away from he you. He thanked me. Vile and ugly. He thanked me. Of course, he wants my priest buff. He's like. When does that last him? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, yeah. I should give you the buff. Nice. But you yep. do have the war chief's buff. How did I get that? I think we got it last time. I don't remember. The last two hours, so we managed to lose an hour and a half of it somehow. <laughs> Does that somehow not show up when you're inside of, of, of a city or something? Well, do you see it on you now? I see it now. I didn't see it earlier. Oh, maybe we got it. I don't remember. I think it, actually, I think it only lasts an hour. I don't remember. One of them lasts two hours. One maybe of some hours. random player we ran by gave it to us. <laughs> no, no, you can only get it um, when somebody kills the dragon, Anixia, which is what the name of the server is, by the way. So, like, uh, level 60... Uh, in the vanilla mode or whatever, it was the highest level. And that Anixia Dragon was like one of the highest uh, level raid encounters where you need a raid is where you have more than five. Like dungeons five player, but raids are considered like level 10 or 25 or 40. I think they used to be 40 and then they changed it to 25 later because they realized 40 is just too many nerds to get together at one time, you know? Actually, that's one of the changes is this. Vanilla server has added as they they have 25 man raids instead of 40. Just it's a, a little bit easier to get 25 people together than 40 to coordinate. Oh yeah, life. sounds like it. But basically, to fight this dragon instead of its dragon cave, it's like Anixia, Queen Mother, or whatever the fuck dragon. Um, they would need like super tank. And they have alternate tanks in case the main tank goes down. They have like uh, backup tanks, <laughs> and like the backup tank will also sometimes uh, the main tank if they're dying, like the health is going low. The alternate tank will like taunt the dragon to take them off of the main tank so they won't die, you know. And they'll switch, and then um, you need like a bunch of healers, like five healers or something, just to heal everyone. And one one healer is like your main healer, responsible for healing the main tank, obviously, always. Um, but sometimes the dragon will just attack randomly other characters, so they need healing too. And then you a have snake. like <laughs> you have like a bunch of uh, damage healing Beast. characters, basically. Beast is slain. All right, so now to turn that quest in. Yeah, to the far watch post. We can just run in shortcut around. Razor Hill. To the Barons, which is... The joke is something like... So many people start characters, like they want to try out all the alt characters, they want to like make a character for all the classes, you know? And they usually make it to about level 20 before they go like, I don't like this character class, you know what I mean? And so then yeah. they... And then the Barons is level 10 to 20, so they say like... The Barons is where characters go to die or whatever, I don't know. But it's... And also the Barons chat. For some reason the chat in Barons is always like ridiculous. Like the people would always be making comments about Chakras and stuff in the Barons. And so then the Barons chat specifically always had like a reputation for like just being like full of retar retards. <laughs> I see. This texture looks very nice on the ground here. Look how sharp these, uh, like the cl dried out clay looks versus the, the the side here, which is blurry. Why is this one sharp and why is that blurry? Um, I don't know. I, 
I always liked these type of ground textures in the game. Even back in the original game, they would look this good. Um, which is why I always thought, like, um, you know, people would say, like, this game looks kind of like crap or something, but let's follow the road here. Hi, Shaman. What level is this person? Level 10. You could gang up on him and kill him. <laughs> no, you can't kill your ally. It's, oh. I mean, not alliance, because that's the other fight, but... Or you can't kill your board characters. Only thing you can do. Piece of shit. Kill you, you piece of shit. Oh shit! I leveled up to level twelve. Ah. Almost level eleven. Look, this is the only thing you can do. You can do this. Challenge you to a duel, motherfucker. What's that do? You? you fucking die now. Oh shit. I don't do PvP, I don't even know what I'm doing. You have to hit me. <laughs> but this is what they do, they just run away, eh? I'm behind you and shit so you can't target. <laughs> ah! You can do your uh, thunderstorm thing or whatever the fuck. One minute cool down on it. <laughs> do that. You're just gonna heal and shit. Totally not even fair. You're gonna yeah, heal. watch me heal. What if I hamstring you? Now you run slow, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> Ideal, isn't it? <laughs> and you can't run away. It's gonna fucking heal itself. Pretty well, much. Can you do much <laughs> damage to me or what? Um, so you should look at your health. <laughs> fucking beast. What's happening to my character? What's that blue highlight on his. all over his name? You're taking stuff? damage, I think. I'm actually out of mana. I'm fucked. I can murder you now. Damn. Can you heal enough or are you gonna die? No, I'm gonna probably die now. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Holy shit, 11. No, you gotta kill me. stop attacking you? No, you don't actually die. Yeah, you won the duel. Oh, I see. So, I thought I would accidentally kill you. I was trying to do, like, I'm evil. I have these damage over time things. The shadow word pain. So I was just, like, trying to keep myself, um... Like, I run around and I try and damage you over time, but I should have been doing more actual smite, which is like your, my main spell, you know? I see. You beat me, what damn it, I was trying! Potions? Yeah, only losers use potions in, in duels. <laughs> they, it's, it's a lame thing to do, I mean, but people will do it, because they want to win so bad, you know? But it's lame yeah, to do because you're making people waste their resources, like actual potions, you know, just for a fucking duel. So if you have any honor, you will not use your healing potion in a duel. For yeah. But these fucking but, losers, they'll do it. But in a fucking real fight, so you definitely use a this potion. A, freak. Yeah, a real fight, I mean, versus an alliance character. You're definitely using a potion. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they are all doing it. Yep. Damn, you raped me, actually. Uh, it's probably because your sword is so beast. My character. Yeah, my sword is uh, overpowered for my, my. My character should have at this level. Well, I mean, no, it's like you, you use your level, but it's like. I paid like, a, you know, 50 silver or gold for it or something. Um, the warrior's damage is really based on the weapon they have. But a priest, it doesn't matter what kind of fucking weapon I have, it just gives me stats, like, you know, like some intellect, some spirit. So my character is more based off of, like, what level spells I have, and I don't know if I. I don't even know if it popped in. I think it probably do have it. The most recent ones. Oh. The water. I still feel this water looks much better than the mer like the weird kind of milky, creamy water of the new classic one. I don't like it. This looks better, I think. To me, this looks better. Looks more like actual water. And sharp. <laughs> this is meme from uh, Twin Peaks from the 90s where he goes, 
give me some coffee. And he says, that's damn good coffee. And hot. So it's like, that's damn good water. And sharp. Hmm. <laughs> Here we are My entering the Barrens. This is the Barrens oh, no. Bridge. Here's your quest, I think. Yes, it's coming Wait, up here. Wait, there's like a left. storm happening here in the Barrens currently. Very cool. I like that. I like the look, the actual change of the entire area. Wait, like, where's your changes. Where's your quest guy? O over here. Huh. I'm loser up by this tree over here. Apparently. So normally there isn't always a storm happening here, but it can be. A snake. Attack this beast. There you go. Completed the quest. You turned it in, you mean? Or... Quest. What's that? You turned it in? Yeah. Got a new one called Path of Defense. Doing five oh this has like become like a normal normal thing now. Doing five singe scales to Uzek. Oh fuck that, we're not doing that. Abandon it? Okay. I thought you'd get a quest to tell you to go to crossroads. Is there any other quest to pick yeah. up over here? Yeah, it's a stupid. Is there another quest to pick up over here though? No. Alright, fuck it, let's just go. The quest uh, the quest tree ran out or whatever, the quest uh loop turned into a stupid lame one at the end and it just fizzled out. Wait, actually, hold on. What's your quest called, and which category is it under? Is it a warrior quest? Now I have none. I have I have zero quests. No oh, active quest. Oh, you did you not pick this one up? But then I abandoned it. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's check it. I, I realize it might be a warrior quest. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is the the string of uh, the the quest string that I need to follow. Yeah, and there, I think I was thinking about a different one. That's why I just realized maybe this one's a warrior one. Okay. What does it say? Can I when tell? You... It does say warrior, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So we should probably do this, actually. So if you look at your map, is it nearby? It says go to Duratar. Go to Thunder Ridge in Duratar. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, uh, Hunt these thunder lizards over there. Alright, do you want to do that? It's not that far. It's on this side of the Duratar. All right. Let's do it. Lizards, yeah. I don't know. I like to do the quests that are for the actual class or whatever. Well, I guess it is. Usually you get like a, a skill or something. In this case, just uh, experience. Oh, really? Sure. Yep. Sure. I think. You sure he doesn't doesn't give you um defensive stance or something? No. Nope, but he just says on here, meet me in the alleyway after dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have your reward. <laughs> then he puts a and then he drew a winky face, smiley winky face. I was like, what is that all about? Hey, where the fuck are these thunder lizards? Oh fuck they're further though. Got confused. Thinking of a different place uh, where the thunder lizards are straight to the left when you enter, but it's it's just a little further. Dinosaur. The raptor isn't he out of place? Prehistoric. Yeah, weird. Nice. Level eleven. Oh, here it is. I meant to do that to you. Um, that bubble that I put on you, I was trying to use that on me, because whenever you hit me, and I'm trying to cast a spell, it makes my spell bar go back, or whatever, right? I see. So then, in, in that duel we were doing, um, the point is I put that bubble on myself, and then whenever, since that's absorbing damage, it doesn't count as being hit, and so then it doesn't make my cast bar go back. Motherfucker, I want a rematch. Do a rematch. Yeah. <laughs> Did I do that? Oh, you must now be made to seem like a loser. I want a rematch. God damn it. <laughs>
Okay, put the bubble on you. Put the bubble on you. Okay, this is a fail match. <laughs> put the bubble on you, you motherfucker. I'll okay. string you. I'll do all the bad things on you. You're gonna get fucked. I'm fucked. I can already tell him. <laughs> Why is your character so weak? Wearing the cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Plot of losers. Oh, you escaped that one. That was good. You escaped that one, you beast. Damn you. Not that one. <laughs> you knew I'd run behind you, so you didn't even turn around with the <laughs> Lead you. Now you die, you beast. Heroic strike you and then you die. Are you a healing beast? I would run out of mana, I'm fucked, basically. So, uh, how, oh, yeah, I see your mana is very low. You're very I mean, mana dependent, eh? He's trying to run around and get my mana up, though, like this. Can I hamstring you? No beast. I'll put you in a fight with a scorpion. I was hamstring you so you can't run. The scorpion's attacking me. Oh, yeah, you, you hit him now. Oh fuck, I healed. He's gonna be doing me now. God damn you, Scorpion. Fuck off. Fuck you, Scorpion. <laughs> no beast. What? No beast. Why are you helping him? <laughs> no. You will die now. Never. Fuck! See when I do that to you, you're fucked. <laughs> oh fuck! I, the scorpion killed me. Fuck! Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, you actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> the duel ended, I had one health, and then the scorpion strike. killed me. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking hilarious! Wow, that's a bad choice of doing the duel. And fucking scorpion, of piece of shit. So I realized though, by the way. <laughs> Me running around like that in circles for a bit, you can just get my mana back up slowly and then... Yeah. Unless they hamstring you or do the confusion, the war stomp on you, and then you're fucked. So, I, I think I could probably defeat you, but it would have to be a battle of attrition or whatever, because your yeah. health will not go up in battle. But my mana does go up, because the mana going up is not based off of if you're in, or in and out of combat, it's based off of when you last, yeah. last a spell. So I would just need to, like... Cast the shield bubble on me, and then purposefully not cast anything as I run around for a while until my mana goes back up. Another player would have witnessed a giant brute warrior beating on a little woman. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. Killing her. You're probably wondering what the fuck the player over here watching. They were watching? Oh, there's a guy on a horse knit here called uh, Wipe Me Baby One More Time. They're watching us fighting? Wait, wait a minute. His name is Goulash, the fuck? Wait, what? His name is Goulash, like G A H O U. What the like fuck? Ghoul. Goulash. I just ran up to him because I'm Goulash, and he's probably like, what the fuck? Who Goulash? This is crazy. Twilight Zone. We've entered the Twilight Zone. What the fuck, the goulash? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, he put a spell on me. What is he? Oh, he's a priest. He's off. That's cool. I guess there's not many combinations of things you could think of when it comes to the word ghoul, which he's a ghoul, I guess, right? Yeah, well, and for him, he thinks it's clever because he's like, you know, ghoul lash. So he's like, you know. Yeah. But then it's like double for him, double meaning. But then for oh. you, for you, you're named ghoulash because you're fucking beefsteak or whatever. 
<laughs> yes. What are these giant beasts here? That's what you have to kill, I think. Dear warrior. Oh. Dear. Oh shit, these are hardcore, aren't they? I'm gonna shoot it. Man, I can't um, believe that the chances of running into the other goulash like that is so fucking low, especially in the middle of nowhere. What the fuck? Come on, you beast. I'm drawing you out. Yeah, we got a level 9, we got a contender. <laughs> Did not give a scale thing. Uh -huh. It's uh, only a low chance, I don't know. It might be the ones that are behind these ones. Oh, I see. They're big, but they're big, but they're pathetic. Can you loot them after me? Okay. Go forth, sir. They're weak, so I'm not gonna even draw them out. I'm just gonna oh, yeah. attack them, fucking weakling. Like me. Are these ones the ones? Uh, no. That's the same shit. I'm doing too much damage. My aggro too high. Back here. Are these the ones? What are the? What are you trying to get? What does your quest say? Oh, yep. No, actually, killing these ones apparently got me two, two of these scales. Hinged oh. scale. Oh, so it's okay. just random. Yeah. Okay, nice. We kill this fuck. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I turned on aggro mode. Um... She... Can you change that? So if you... You need to turn yours on. So if you click on the x pearl unit frames, which is like the little white circle icon at the top right on your Titan panel. Left click or right click? Left. Yeah. And then under... Target tab... Yes. I believe. Um, it's kind of near the top, in the top left, it's like the second, not the, not the second checkbox, but whatever, it's called Threat. Make sure that's checked, and it makes, sure, instead of the name, instead of Portrait. Where do you... I see, okay. Uh, the Portrait one, I don't like, because it draws like a fucking speedometer graph over the fucking face of the character you're attacking, which I don't like the way that looks. So the, na the name one will just write the percentage into the name bar. All right, close it. All right. I have to click on default and save, or what? All right, yeah. Good idea. All right. That's it. Did this yeah. just change? So now when you attack this, uh, attack this monster here, attack this beast, hideous creature, uh um, do you see that there's a percentage on the left of his name there? Just um, say it. hundred percent? Yeah. So, that's showing you your aggro percentage, so like, uh, I guess it's more important for me than it is for you, but... Um, mine will say like, cast a spell on him. Zero percent. Thirty-seven percent. So I know how close I am to taking aggro from you. Basically, I see. So let me try. Uh, let me try attacking the enemy first. So if I go, so I got over. all five scales I needed. Oh, here's a beast hiding back here. Let's just kill this one for the test. So if I attack him first, 
Oh, you see his aggro when you, you think you have to hit him. 31%. Yeah, so you need to get that to 100 before you can take aggro. Oh, I see. Oh, this uh, fancy knife. I can't use knives, can I? Uh, we didn't get the skill for it when we were, when we were in our war room. Still, I want it. I really want this item. <laughs> Um, yeah. Okay. Let's look at it. <laughs> I think your weapon is better. What is it? What did I even get? <laughs> it doesn't, it's a dagger. Or even is it? Carving knife of power. 6 to 13. Ew. Did I give this to you? Yeah. A few things to give you. If you wanted to sell that, I'll let you. I'll let you sell that one. That's it. What am I? A garbage can? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I, I, my, I will eat this meat. So the threat thing actually probably is not, it's not good enough to tell you the percentage because it, all it's going to tell you is that you're at 100. So it's like pointless. So later, in order to do actual dungeons, you kind of, it's more, it's more useful to know the actual threat numbers you have, like in, in actual values, like it'll say, you have 800 threat on this target. And then you'll see that the healer has like 200. And so you're like, okay, the healer's nowhere near taking aggro from me. But then, are you just gonna run out? You wanna fight him? No, I can run out. I mean, no, fuck it. The, the leveling? No, fuck it. I just want to get to the barons already. I thought this was the barons. No. All right, I'm gonna end this video and we make a new video for the barons. I thought this was the barons.